What's good my peeps, Calvin B back with another video for you guys today and in today's video, well, just gonna start off by saying my bad because this video was actually supposed to come out Wednesday but it didn't so hopefully I'm gonna be able to get two videos out for this week to make up for that. I got some other stuff, some other pretty cool stuff that I want to unbox. I'm like a cat, I like boxes. <laughs> let, me, let me stop. But uh, this one, we have a product that I've had, of course, for like some months now. And just now getting to it. But we have the Boer Vlogging Pro Kit. It says it's the ultimate smartphone vlogging setup. This thing comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, from the looks of it, I think it looks pretty cool, but uh, I know my friend Chris was actually asking about this and he was like, hey man, when you gonna put out that video so I can see what it do? So you know what, Chris, this video is for you. I'm gonna be going through this whole thing, showing you guys what comes in it, how to use it, and what it looks like or what it can actually do as far as like the audio and the lights from of course what you can see. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this video without further ado. Let's do this. All right guys, so here we got the Boer Vlogging Pro Kit. Now it says on the package that it's the ultimate smartphone vlogging setup. Super, super excited for this, mainly because I just got a new phone. So I'm gonna be testing this out with that. Now, of course, some things that it comes with is the mic, uh, a 50 bulb LED light, this little, I wouldn't call it a gimbal, but I would call it like a hand, I don't know what to call it actually. <laughs> but uh, it looks like it comes with a remote also, so we'll check that out. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing for this. Might need the trusty dusty unboxing knife, if I can find it. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh shoot, man down, <laughs> package down. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. Hopefully this box doesn't troll me also. It is a little bit, so it's just getting ripped. <laughs> All right, guys, I've had this for I don't know how long and just not opened it <laughs> all right so in the package we have looks like some filters actually that goes with these over here we got a blue red and also a white filter if i can get it out take a look at that all right we have a it looks like a micro usb to usb a all right, look at that. We got the 50 bulb LED, has that film on the top. Now I'm wondering if this has like a little switch where you can actually on the side here, if it'll focus. All right, but as you can see here on the side, there's like a little button that you can use to turn that on. On the bottom, we got the tripod mount. Yeah, I was trying to focus. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, guys. But of course, the film on the top. Let's go ahead and take that off. Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice and satisfying. Look at that. Pretty small, I would have to say. About, could fit in the palm of my hand. All right, here. We got the remote. Got a two button remote here. I wonder what type of batteries it takes. Ooh. Circular. I, I, I don't know what type of batteries these are. These may be like C batteries. I don't know. But um, <laughs> that's that. And come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'm trying to get this back on the way it's supposed to go on, but I'm assuming that this has like a little tab that I have to pull. I'll pull that out on the side once I start recording. Pretty big mic, actually. <laughs> I did not expect for the mic to be this big. Um, 
pretty big. Wow. And then it has like a little US, uh, not USB, but a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Hopefully we'll be able to put this into my camera because I'm wondering if I can put my camera on this. We have a battery. Again, not sure what type of battery this is. There we go. Yeah, not sure what type of battery this is. We are getting a lot of stuff in here, guys. <laughs> no doubt. We got a little tripod mount here. I'm assuming that you put the little uh, screw piece in the bottom right there and then tighten this for maybe the, uh, the microphone. All right. We have our usual books and stuff. I'm pretty sure we'll need that just to see if there's anything else. Um, here is the final thing. We have our grip. Now, I'm assuming you turn this. I don't want to break it. <laughs> oh, on the back. Um, you turn this left to loosen it up. Turn it right to tighten it up. We got nothing on the bottom here. Well, we got the little uh, cold shoe grip. I think that's what it's called on the top for three of them. We also have a tripod mount here. Tripod mount on the side. Tripod mount on the bottom. Nothing else on the bottom. Another tripod mount on the other side. And two tripod mounts on this, on the top. So it's interesting because I'm not sure why on the top you have the tripod mounts unless you just wanted to have the, the camera a little to the side, I guess. I don't know, uh, but <laughs> that, that, that's pretty interesting that they have two on the top with the code shoe grips. But that is pretty much everything that we get in the box. What I'm gonna do, because this looks <laughs> kinda sorta complicated, yeah, all right? But um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut the camera and then I'm gonna set this up and make sure that I have everything in order. And um, <laughs> I'm trying to organize this. Hold on right quick. My OCD getting out of hand. All right, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and set all of this up and hopefully is not too complicated i'll read the instruction manual i was going to do it on camera but maybe i'll do a separate video for that so i'll come back once this is all put together so i went ahead and put this together off camera and it's simpler than it seems i know we got a lot of stuff here to make it look complicated but it's actually simpler than it seems so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out the way like the usb charger and the remote but I also did some playing around with the, uh, the stuff that came in the box. <clears throat> and it looks like this battery is actually for the microphone. So you will need to buy more of these batteries. Um, I'm trying to find the <laughs> what type of battery it is. But there you go. That's the battery for the microphone. So let's go ahead and get started with this assembly. Now we're going to start off with the microphone. All right this bad boy you guys have already seen the sound test for that on video but i will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the audio from this microphone and the samsung galaxy s21 5g so that's going to be interesting to see that'll probably come either after this or even before this who knows but um let's go ahead and get started with this let's go ahead and make sure is right side up or upside right what, what do you guys say upside right or right side up <laughs> i don't know but uh as we see we got the cold shoe grips on the top and on the bottom of the microphone you can see that there is a square piece that is the cold shoe grip um or not grip but little piece all right so make sure that you loosen this circular piece is supposed to tighten it and make sure that it doesn't move around. But um, let's go ahead and slide that onto the cold shoe and tighten it up. There we go. 
Now moving on to the 50 LED for this. That's what this small piece is for here. Uh, it actually has a small square on the bottom, same as the um, microphone top. You can go ahead and screw that on. This has a tripod piece on the bottom, probably a micro tripod um, thing. Uh, and then just make sure that the light lines up however you want. We're gonna go ahead and put that straight. Now for this purpose, we're actually going to be, actually, we're gonna be um, setting this up as if we're doing a selfie style vlog. So that's gonna be how we're gonna be setting this up. But the filters for this, all right? The filters for the 50 LED is just like this. As you can see, it has like these little grooves at the bottom and also on the top. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put that, the bottom piece is on first, and then the top piece, you just pop into place. There we go. How you take it off, you just pull that top piece, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and put this on the grip. This is a little bit simpler to put on. It doesn't really take any rocket science for that. Go ahead and tighten that up. Make sure the LED is facing the way I want it to face. Now, for this, um, I realize that I do need to charge this up. So when I do the visual test on stable, uh, stabilization or stability, <laughs> I guess if you got shaky hands, you got shaky hands. But um, when we do the test of how it looks when you're walking around with it such, um, this will be charged up. So you guys will see a lighting test for this. Um, Next, <laughs> next, that's basically how you set it up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, let you guys, or I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know something. You will need a dongle for this setup if you have a newer phone. Now, I have the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G, and that comes with a USB Type C charging port. So, you will need now of course if your phone has a headphone jack then you're all good but if it does not have a headphone jack then you will you will need the dongle for this so let's go ahead and plug that up actually let's do it like this so it doesn't mess up the lighting all right <clears throat> sorry guys my got feels like my throat i need to cough or something like that so i apologize but um Let's go ahead and loosen this up. Put that on the way we want it on. Now my power button is up here also, so I have to make sure that it's not too far or it's not under this thing here. Let's go ahead and tighten that up. Boom, all right, so that's how it looks. Let's go ahead and put this through the back and then plug this up. Boom. All right. And just so you guys can see that the microphone does indeed work on this, let me go ahead and get to the voice recording. All right guys, so I went ahead and adjusted the brightness on my phone just so you guys can see that clearly. But as you can see here, I'm not sure if it's showing it clear, but it does say that it's actually gonna be uh, recording through the USB, uh, not the USB, but the microphone that is connected to the phone. So there you go. This is a test. This is a test to see how well the Bower Vlogging Pro Kit microphone sounds. Now this is a, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack microphone so not sure how well the quality is uh, you guys will probably see this in between the segment that I have coming up next but I just wanted to put this in here because I know I was gonna test it anyway so um, but currently I'm just setting this up to see how easy it is to set up and if it is then the next clip will be pretty much the assembly of this product so this is the sound test for the microphone. Let me know in the comment section how it sounds.
So this is the audio test for the Boer Vlogging Pro Kit microphone versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. Now, I am behind the camera, so we're gonna go ahead and see how well each of these devices pick up my voice from behind the camera. So let's go ahead and log into my phone real quick. There we go. Now we'll be on the table, no movement at all. It's gonna be in the same place. So starting off with the Boer microphone, let's go ahead and do this. This is a test. This is a test. This is your boy CB back with another video. Make sure you subscribe, throw a like on the video if you happen to enjoy it. And you know what it is. See you in the next one. <laughs> that was cheesy. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go ahead and take this out right quick. Now it's gonna be recording audio from the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G, all in the same clip. Let's go ahead and do this. What's good my peeps, Calvin B back with another one. This is the audio test for the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. Let me know how I sound. That was a little bit better. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and play those. And you guys will let me know in the comments, I hope, uh, how each of these sound and what you like about it. This is a test. This is a test. This is your boy CB back with another video. Make sure you subscribe. Throw a like on the video if you happen to enjoy it. And you know what it is. What's good, my peeps? Calvin B. back with another one. This is the audio test for the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. Let me know how it sounds. So I know there's a lot that comes with this product, which means there's going to be a lot of setting up to do at first. But once you get it all set up, it should be all good. Now for the remote here, um, you have two different buttons the big button is for camera 360 for the ios and the bottom button is for android now let me see if i can get this to focus here on the side there's going to be a um a, a little slider button that you can slide up and this blue light will start flashing well that just indicates that it's in bluetooth pairing mode so let's go ahead um, and connect that of course it was via Bluetooth because how else would it work <laughs> but um, if you guys can see down here the Boer shutter Bluetooth connection is there let's go ahead and click that and click OK all right scroll up Boer shutter is all connected so let's go ahead and take it over to the camera. Of course, uh, you can't really see anything, but let's see what happens if we press the iOS button just because I like to test things. So if I press that, it starts recording, all right? As you can see here, stop recording, starts recording, all right? Let's see what happens when we press the Android button. Starts recording. Stops recording. Now, the interesting thing about this, and let me go ahead and turn that off. The interesting thing about this is both of the buttons on this remote does the same thing. I would have liked for there to be an option for you to actually take a picture and also do a video, but apparently there is no option for that. Um, of course, once you connect it via Bluetooth, the LED light doesn't come on. Let's see if the light comes on. If I turn it off, turn it on, you'll see like a little blue flashing light. Uh, just one. Let's do that again. All right. So that time it was three. Maybe I just had it pointing away from the camera. All right. <laughs> now it's just doing what it's trolling me. It's trolling me. I'm not even going to mess with that. But uh, as you guys can see, when you turn it on, uh, you have to connect it via Bluetooth. That's why that blue light, is, uh, blue light is flashing constantly. That means it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. You just pair it up with the device that you want uh, to use the button for. 
All right guys, so I just plugged up the LED lights and this is what it looks like on the back. You'll see a blue LED that actually shines or flashes when it's charging. So this is how the Boer Vlogging Pro Kit looks like on the tripod, all set up with the lights, the microphone, the smartphone, the dongle if you need it. <laughs> but uh, this is how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it could be used for like sit down videos, vlogs, or if you're just recording someone else and you want to get like a different type of video, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to cut this camera so we can go outside and do the light test for the LED lights. All right, guys, so we're outside. It is nighttime looking all peaceful, sounding all peaceful. Now we got the audio coming from the microphone and I just got my little porch light here, um, which is pretty much lighting my face. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like to turn this light on. Press and hold that button. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now <laughs> what I'm going to do, because this, this light looks pretty bright I'm not gonna lie like let me I want to I want to go away from the lights over here and this light is blinding me almost ran into the trash can <laughs> like I'm up the hill now where my fire pit is cannot wait to get that done what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn you guys around and that way you guys can kind of see what it looks like <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. All right. So let's go ahead and get up on the fire pit. You can see the fire pit, the cooler. Let's go ahead and take some steps back. I'm going to be surprised with this. Now, I don't want to walk in the ditch. Please don't let me walk in the ditch. OK, all right. That's, a, that's as far as I walk in. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I don't got the light. All right. But that that is pretty much the light test for the 50 bulb LED light for this board kit. Honestly, I'm going to watch back the footage and see how it looks. But this thing is like really bright. <laughs> it's really bright for its size. And if I'm, I'm going to try this guys off camera, but if I can connect my camera with this setup, this is gonna be wicked crazy. So let's go ahead and check out the filters for the 50 bulb LED light that comes with this kit. Now, uh, you guys have already saw the how bright it is and we're gonna test out the filters to see what type of effects these give off. Now let's go ahead and start off just plain Jane, natural light. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> that is right. All right, so let me see if I can put these on without blinding myself. All right, there we go. Boom, we got the white filter. Now this is the diffuser, I believe. Um, this is like a light diffuser, so it, it doesn't make it as bright and as overwhelming as the natural light that comes from these LEDs. All right. Now let's go ahead and try out the red filter. Come on. There we go. Snap it on. Gives it more of a warm type lighting to the scene. All right. That's the red or rather orange, not red. But um, let's go ahead and test out the blue one. All right, that gives it more, from what I can tell, just by like shining it on the on the wall and everything, the white would kind of make the bright the light a little bit dimmer, but this one makes it a little bit like cooler, if that makes any sense. Like pretty much the color temperature of the light, uh, where you have like the, the whites that look a little bit more blue, and then the whites that look a little bit more orange. But uh, that's pretty much the lighting 
for uh, the actually the filters for this. All right, guys. So that is pretty much about it for the Bower Vlogging Pro Kit. Now, overall, I gotta say that this thing is pretty cool. Whether you're doing uh, selfie style vlogs or you're vlogging other people or you're like the cameraman or something like that. With the audio, I gotta say that I really do like the microphone is clear. Now, it may not be as better as uh, like the Rode microphones or any other more expensive microphones, but it will do the job. It will do the job. The light, I gotta say that thing is super bright, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I was surprised at how well this small light lit up, and I actually still got it set up here. I was surprised, like this light is actually pretty small, but it is super bright. Like I would have to say that uh, compared to like the lowest setting, and I keep saying like a lot, sorry guys, but compared to my ring light here, the lowest setting on my ring light, it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close, I gotta say. This thing is crazy. Like, <laughs> I, I, like I've been wanting to get one of these and I just haven't had the money for it. But this thing, this whole package cost me about like 35 or 36 bucks at Walmart when I did get it. Um, so pretty cheap, but you do get a lot of stuff. Now, uh, I did try to set this up with my camera, uh, with my, uh, the camera that I'm recording on now, the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III, but unfortunately, the audio test that I did, it did not work, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. I would have really liked it, but then again, this is mainly built for a smartphone, so it's not gonna have the same type of microphone connection that the camera does, so, I, I, can, I, can, I can give a pass on that. I can give a pass on that. I gotta say that, um, hmm. For this product, for the Bower Vlogging Pro Kit, what am I gonna give this? <laughs> I'm gonna give this a four to five, a four to five. Because the, the thing about the, the remote where you can only take video and you can't actually just take still frame pictures, that's the downside. Um, everything else, the, the grip feels pretty sturdy, the microphone sounds good, the light is bright. You're getting a good, decent value from the money that you pay for this. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Not perfect, but it is great. It is good, super good. I love this thing. I probably am gonna be using this uh, for different stuff, maybe some B-roll or something like that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you slap the box fell. But make sure you slap <laughs> make sure you slap a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe for more content. More content is coming soon. And make sure you turn on those post notifications so you're notified every single time I upload a video. Just want to say thanks to you guys for the support. And uh let's keep it up. You guys know what it is. Be brilliant, stay inspired. I messed it up. Be brilliant, stay inspired. And you guys know what it is. Yes, you know what it is. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.